As always, I'm excited to share with you a little bit about our coaches and how we've been doing things. So today, I get to show you our 2018 Renegade Classic, and we call it our IWS Signature Series. The reason we call it our Signature Series is it's something we're really proud to put our name on. We've been working for quite a few years now trying to develop that perfect coach in the 40-foot range that has incredible turning radius, great stopping power, lots of power. It's got drivability, function, and this is the result of all of that. With all of that said, let's go ahead and start the tour as we go around this motorhome. I'm gonna do my best, as always, to try to go step by step and talk you through everything on this coach. As we get up into the first compartment, you're gonna see this is where all the batteries are stored. This coach is equipped with two 8D batteries, and then the batteries on the top are the batteries for the chassis. And I do wanna point out on this, you know, as you're driving this coach down the road, the chassis is going to be charging the batteries. Anytime you're on the generator, the generator's charging it, and then we also have the solar panels on top. Quick view of the air connection, so we can put an air hose on this coach if you want, so you can air up your tires or your trailer tires. As we move back into the next compartment, you can see here is the 2800 watt inverter. So if you put that inverter with the two batteries we've got, you should be able to power two TVs, uh, the microwave, for probably at least six to eight hours of continual use without even having to use a generator. If the sun's out and the solar panels kicked in, you'll even get a little more out of it. Now, as we move back into the sewage compartment in here, and there's a lot going on in here. So the first thing I wanna point out is each storage compartment is 75 gallons. So you have 75 gallons of gray water, which is what comes out of your sink. And then you have 75 gallons of black water storage as well. Both of these tanks have heating strips underneath them, so if it's cold outside in the winter, you can turn a switch on and the tanks will continue to heat. Another thing we've done is you notice the black stuff in there, and what that is is a ceramic temp coat that we've asked Renegade to apply before the tanks are installed, and that's just a thermal insulation barrier to help keep this compartment warm uh, in the winter when you use it. As you can see, here's the macerator hose, and we talk about this quite a bit, and I still think there's a lot of confusion out there, so I wanna kinda of walk you through it one more time. How this system works is there's a pump at the bottom of the septic, and as the sewage comes out of the tank, it's emulsified and ground up inside of this pump, and then it's pumped down that little hose. And the standard sewage hose is about three inches round. It's kinda of difficult to use. You're always having to get the perfect grade so that all the sewage will run out of it. When you go to this macerator system, you can see you get this real long hose. It's about an inch and a quarter in diameter, maybe an inch and a half. When it comes time to dump your septic, you just carry that little hose over, stick it in the septic tank, turn the switch on, and it pumps it all out. It's just, it makes dumping your RV just absolutely, it's not even a chore anymore. It's just something you do. Now, as we move back into the next compartment, this is our, I guess, the command center of uh, all of the functions on the outside of the coach. So I'm gonna walk you through the function in here. The first thing you're gonna see is the black tank dump valve. Typically, when you're dumping your coach, you're gonna put your macerator hose in the sewage. You're gonna pull the black tank dump valve, which is the septic side. You're gonna turn the macerator pump on or the flow jet as it's called here. And then that's going to pump all of the sewage out. Then when you're done with that, you push that lever in and then you're gonna pull the gray tank dump valve out. Turn the flow jet back on. The macerator system will start pumping and that's pumping kind of cleaner, soapier water over the top of the black tank so it keeps the hose looking nice. Then you'll push that in when you're done and shut the flow jet off and you're done dumping your sewage. Periodically, if you wanna flush out your black tank, which really, since you're running dual macerator system, it's less of an issue, but I still recommend you do it periodically. You'll hook a water hose onto the black tank wash valve, and what's happening is there's a sprinkler basically inside of the black septic tank, and when you put water into that, this sprinkler comes on, and it really just does a great job of washing all the corners and the cavities inside of the tank out. Then as you go down, you'll see the cable connection. And if you're in an RV park that has a cable or free satellite, you can hook your coax cable in there. 
doubtful you would use it on this coach because it has such a powerful and great uh, satellite system on it, but it is there just in case you want to use it. The next lever over is the tank fill, so you can choose to have the lever where you'll fill up the 150 gallon water tank on this coach, or you can turn the lever up and you can go directly from the city water right to your faucets and, and it would eliminate the storage tank. The next uh, lever over or button is the flow jet, also the macerator system, that's where you turn it on and off. You can see below it is the freshwater fill port. Then you can see the low point drain. There's two low point drains, so in the winter, if you want to winterize your coach, you'll open both of them valves up and in the water, it'll gravity back out. The next low point drain is also doubles as a pressurized spigot. So if you need to use water, you can hook your garden hose on that and turn this valve on and you could wash your car or fill up dog bowls or heck, you could even wash the motorhome with it. So very well thought out. Another little thing that I like to point out is renegade, the spray away, the city water, all of them words are cut with a water jet. So there's not a decal. So years down the road, them aren't going to get mucked up so you'll always know what it is. We also go into this in a lot more detail when you buy a coach with, by using our IWS Advantage package. You'll get a lot more detailed video on this. Now we're going to move back into the generator compartment and on this coach we went a little overboard by installing a Cummins Onan 12.5 kW generator and in essence, this is a Kubota tractor engine, and I tell everybody, you know, the best thing you can do for this thing is just to run it. I mean, it was designed to run for hours and hours, thousands and thousands of hours. It's just a fantastic generator. Now, as we move into the very last compartment, you can see on this motorhome, we've installed the surge guard. And what that is, is if you plug into an RV park somewhere and they have, you know, voltage spikes, all of the power goes in and through the surge guard before it goes into the motorhome. So it's really doing a great job of protecting all of the electronics inside of the coach. And I just think it's a real nice added feature. You can also see here we've installed a power electric cord reel. And then to rewind it, you just push the retract button. Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're pulling this big 50 amp cord in and out and trying to coil it, having it on a power reel is just worth its weight in gold. It really makes things really nice and convenient. Another thing I want to draw your attention to in this compartment is that we have a 30 amp RV outlet at the back. We do that so if you're pulling a trailer, you can take your electrical power from your trailer, connect it in right here. And then we also installed an additional 110 outlet back there. So if you need exterior 110 outlet, you have it clear at the back of the coach. And it's just another convenience that we're trying to do here at IWS when we design these coaches. And as you can see, all of these components really kind of add up to our signature series. Another thing I want to point out while we're on the driver's side of the coach, in the industry, it's also referred to as the street side. You can see the two side lights that we've mounted. There's two on this side, two on the passenger side, and one on the back. And that's five high intensity LED lights. We do that for a lot of reasons. One, if you're camping, you can turn the lights on and you're gonna illuminate all the way around the coach. It has a nice low setting so you can see if you have a issue along the side of the road, you can illuminate either side of the coach. If you're backing up to a trailer, you can turn the one on on the back. But probably the biggest benefit that our customers see is from a security standpoint. If you're out camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you hear a bump in the night, you can just reach up and hit them three lights on the high beams. And it's literally going to illuminate probably three to 400 feet area around the entire coach. And it's just something that gives you extra peace of mind. It's a relatively expensive option, but it's something that we feel needed to go on our signature series because it's something that I put on my own personal coach. And, and we just really think it's a great way to go. Here you can see the slide outs coming out. Notice each one of them has a topper. I also want to keep drawing your attention to the paint quality and notice how the lines are painted right through the slide. Renegade's really done a great job of putting on a premier quality paint job. This paint job here has a double clear coat on it. So what they do is they paint it and they put a clear coat on it and then they sand it and then they re-clear it. So when you rub your hands down the paint job, you don't feel any bumps between the color changes. It's just absolute show car quality paint job. 
You can see quite a bit here on this Freightliner Cascadia 113. And again, that's been our signature series line. We've special ordered these chassis. It's got the front axle sets back 13 inches more than a standard Cascadia. The hood's also 13 inches shorter. It's got the big Detroit DD13 470 horse engine. We're gonna talk a lot more about the engine when we get back around to the front of the coach again here in just a few minutes. Now we're gonna move around to the back of the coach and talk about some of the things that you'll notice back here. Really the first big one and obvious is the trailer hitch on this coach. This coach is equipped with a 20,000 pound trailer hitch. The reason it's, it's only rated to 20,000 pounds is because you have a single rear axle on this coach. If it had a tandem axle, this hitch should be rated to 30,000 pounds. It's fully adjustable up and down, and it's really making a statement of how well built this coach is. When you see a hitch like that, you know there's some quality behind it. As we pan up, you can see we've installed the rear window on this coach. We also have an upper camera up there, so when you're backing up to your trailer or you're towing your vehicle, you can access. You can see it from the dash TV or the dash monitor that we've installed in it. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is this is how you can identify quickly that this is a classic by Renegade. And that's because it uses the FRP construction. Everything is built just like you would see it on a big semi. If you notice, there's a big, huge drip rail around the top of the coach, and that makes a, a really stout perimeter framing, if you will. It's all metal. The lights are French down inside of it. And again, you know, I talk about Renegade making things nice and simple. The lights on this are standard truck lights that you'll be able to find at just about any Napa Auto Parts store. When you look at the ladder, I mean, this ladder is just impressive by itself. You know, it's designed for 250, 300 pound person to go up and get on top of the roof and watch the race from. You know, we can also put railing up on the top. You know, this coach has a full walk on roof. You can put five, 10, 15 people up here if you want. You know, of course on this coach, it's got a lot of air conditioners and solar panels. So it wasn't specifically designed for you to sit on top and view, but it's definitely an option if you want it. Now, as we move over into the passenger side of the coach, we're just gonna kind of walk you quickly through all of the storage compartments. On this particular coach, we did them all with carpet. You'll also notice the wire going into the door there. This coach has remote control compartment doors, so when you wanna lock the compartment doors, you just push a button on the key fob and all of them lock. Here's a great shot of the central vac and shows where it's located. You also have an extra 110 outlet down here. It's interesting, this uh, vacuum works from the inside of the coach. There's also a port on the outside, so you can hook a hose on it if you want to wash your, or vacuum your towed vehicle or need to you know, vacuum out a cooler or anything. In this compartment, this is what we call our refrigerator freezer prep package. So we install a slide out tray. It's got 110 outlet already in the wall with a 12 volt connection point. We have freezers in stock. so. If you want, we can easily just stick our freezer in there and plug it in. You'll have a fridge freezer. The new freezers we're carrying here are really neat because you can turn them on and off from your cell phone inside the motorhome. You can also view the temperature from inside of the motorhome. Or we have customers that just want to use a slide out tray to put a standard cooler. You know, the choice is yours. Now, as we moved up into the front compartment, you'll see it's all carpeted. The little carpet that you see there is a cover for the step well if you want to use that to cover it. Now we're going to go ahead and run out the awning and talk a little bit more about the passenger side of this coach. As you can see, this has the carefree two-stage awning, so it comes out flat. You could stop it there, or you can continue it, as you see in this photo, where it comes out and makes a second stage drop. What I really like about that is it helps give you some coverage when the sun is low by having that awning kind of droop down a little more. It also has wind sensors on it, so if the awning gets to moving around and you're not there, it'll automatically retract. It's a really big awning, as you can see here. It does a great job of just covering the majority of the side of the coach. You'll also see it has an LED lighted lead rail, so there's LED lights along the edge, which makes it nice for illuminating your camping spot or your dining table. You can see we've done an outside entertainment center. It has a 32-inch TV on it. It has a Jensen stereo with DVD player, CD player. It's Bluetooth capable, so you can play your cell phone or your iPad music through it. 
great way to spend the evening is outside, you know, watching TV or watching the big game. We also had Renegade install a 110 outlet. You know, I do a lot of fishing and it's important to be able to run my meat packaging system right there on the side of the coach. It just gives you a lot of options. You know, if you want to air up a raft or something, you got a plug in there. And we try to strategically locate these plugins all around the coach. Now we're going to move up into the front and talk a little bit about this engine. There seems to be a lot of discussion in the industry about, you know, Cummins, Detroit, which is better. And, you know, for us, it's as simple as a checkbox. When we order a coach from Renegade, we can choose Cummins engine or Detroit engine. Currently, the feedback we're getting from our customers is that everybody's been ecstatic about these Detroit engines. And that's why you'll see we're ordering more and more Detroits. We really think at the moment that Detroit is leading the race, especially when you hear the feedback from our customers. This engine is the Detroit DD13. It produces 470 horsepower. Here's the real neat thing. It produces 1,650 foot-pounds of torque at 975 RPM. So this thing is an absolute powerhouse. Another neat thing about it is it has a V50 life rating of a million miles, which basically means it's documented that over 50% of these engines went over a million miles without any catastrophic engine damage, which is just amazing to me. The other neat thing about it is that it comes with a Detroit uh, virtual technician and it's free for the first two years. An example is I was driving down the road in my motorhome, engine light comes on, I got a text immediately from Detroit Virtual Technician that says, hey, don't worry about that. It's just an emission alarm. Just have it looked at the next time you're near a Detroit dealer. I think the power in that Virtual Technician alone is uh, cause enough to go to the Detroit. In this particular coach, we think it's the best power plant out there and the best choice for our customers. A couple other things to talk about on this engine. As you can see right here, it's real nice to get into. You just tilt the hood forward. That's another big advantage of a Class C coach. But this thing has a full three-stage engine brake. This isn't a cheesy little exhaust brake. This is a full-on engine brake. So this engine has three settings on the engine brake, which allows you to use the engine compression to slow yourself down. By having three settings, you can choose light, medium, or full-on brake horsepower just an outstanding option. And when you come here for a test drive, we'll really put it through the paces on some big hills so you can see how incredible this thing is. You know, I would venture to guess most RVs will never even need to put brakes on during their you know, entire life of owning this coach. Another neat thing about this coach is we started having them install air disc brakes, which is a new option for this year. It's just incredible. You just really need to drive it to get the full experience of what this thing's like to drive. Most people that come out here are completely astounded when they find themselves running down the freeway at 75 to 80 miles an hour in these coach, and they feel totally comfortable in them. We tell everybody it's like driving a pickup, and nobody fully understands that until you get in this thing and go drive it. It's just an exceptional experience. And the engine noise is virtually non-existent. If you look on the hood, you can see Renegade's done an upgraded insulation package. You can almost hear more road noise than you can for the engine. It's just a true, wonderful driving experience. I can go on and on about this chassis, but I want to invite you to either come by for a test drive or give us a call and we'll walk you through all of this stuff. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I sure enjoy making them and getting the feedback from you. And I look forward to seeing you. So thanks for your time today.